Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this video is going to be a tutorial on this smoky eyeliner look. This is quite a simple look to achieve once you practice it once or twice. So I'm starting off the look by doing my eyebrows. Now as you can see, I have already done one of my brows and I haven't applied a lot of product. I usually prefer doing my brows using a brow powder and here I'm using the Sigma Duo. It's a brow powder in two shades. Um, I have naturally very fuller brows so I do not apply a lot of product. I'm just applying a little bit in the areas where I feel my brow hair is missing does the job for me. Next I'll be taking this P. Louise base in the shade 02 and on a flat concealer brush I'll be applying it right beneath my eyebrow arc and I'll be applying it all over my eyelids as a base for our eyeshadow. For the eyeliner, I am using the Inglot Gel Liner and on a pack 1 to 1 eyeliner brush, I will be applying a very basic eyeliner, no big eyeliners or anything like that. The best thing about this look is that you do not have to be very precise with your eyeliner, you can be a little sloppy with it because we will be blending it out in a minute. Now on a very small detailer brush, I am taking some black eyeshadow. Here I'm using the Huda Beauty Remastered palette. You can take any black eyeshadow, it doesn't matter. We will be packing that black eyeshadow all over the eyeliner and using very light hand and very small stroke-like motions, we will be smudging that eyeliner out. After packing that black eyeshadow, I am taking a clean blending brush and I will be blending that eyeshadow. Uh, one thing that I am doing here is I am using small strokes, I am not dragging the eyeshadow up too high and if you want to do that, you can do that, it will just give you a little more dramatic look if you want that, that's completely fine. I am just keeping it very precise. Next I'm taking brown eyeshadow on a small blending brush and I'll be blending it with the black eyeshadow. This will give a very beautiful transition effect to our smoky liner look. One little tip that I would like to give is that whenever you are working with black eyeshadow, always do your eye makeup first and then do your base makeup because there can be some sort of fallout and that might ruin your base. So to save yourself from that hassle of touching up and redoing your base, always do your eye makeup first. Now this is just my personal preference and I find this helpful. You can do whatever suits you the best. Also, while blending your black and brown eyeshadow together, if you feel like that your blending is a little bit harsh, you can always go in with a big fluffy blending brush, a clean one, there should be no eyeshadow on it. Just run it across your lids and that will smooth out all the harsh lines. Next, I'm taking this nude eyeshadow on a flat brush and I will be applying this all over my lids. Now, the only purpose of doing this step is to add a little bit of warmth to your eyelids. Uh, you can skip this step if you wish to. I just wanted something going on on my eyelids, otherwise it will end up looking very blank. I'm using the Friendication palette by Dose of Colors. You can use any nude eyeshadow. Here I'm pretty much repeating the same steps which is packing black eyeshadow on my lash line and blending it with a clean blending brush. You can do this multiple times until and unless you are satisfied with the result and I'm doing the same. Here I'll be doing my other eye, not using the gel liner, instead I'm using the Cool Pencil by Sugar Cosmetics. Just to give you an idea that you do not need to have a gel eyeliner only to do this look, you can use your Kajal Pencil as well, the result will be absolutely perfect.
doing one additional step which is tight lining now if you don't know what tight lining is this is just applying kajal in your upper and lower waterline now for this look i will be applying kajal on my upper waterline this can be a little bit uncomfortable and you can skip this step but i just feel that it makes a difference as you can see in this clip my left eye has been tight lined and you can see it looks so dark and intense as compared to the right eye which i haven't tight lined and you can see that there is some skin that is peeking through and that's exactly the difference tight lining makes Lastly I'm coating my lashes with mascara here I'm using the Zoom and Boost mascara by Color Bar Cosmetics now this could be your last step you can do your base and your lips and you're done but if you want a little bit of more drama you can add a light pair of eyelashes I also recorded this look with three different lip options so one is this darker pink kind of a look second one is a nude nude look and third one is a classic red I also did a little variation to the eye look just by adding a little bit of glitter or any kind of a shimmer shade right in the center of your eyelids can completely change this matte day look to a beautiful evening party look. I'm using the shimmer shade from the Friend Kitchen palette by Dose of Colors. You can use any shimmer shade. You don't even have to apply it on your complete eyelids. Just in the center will change this look. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will be back with another video soon.